Hi, this is Markley, and you're listening to Low Profile on KAOS 89.3 FM in Olympia, Washington, the only station in town where you can hear this. Asuna is a Japanese sound artist and musician who's been performing and releasing albums since the turn of this century. I first became aware of Asuna's music when his album Organ Leaf was released as part of the Sparkling Composers series back in the early oddies on Lucky Kitchen Records. And that's what we're hearing right now. This is Organ Leaf, again by Asuna, released on Lucky Kitchen Records, whose founders Alejandra and Aaron featured back on Low Profile episode 48, if you're trying to tie any of these older episodes together. So back in 2014, when I was on tour with Lake, I asked our tour manager Koji about a handful of my favorite Japanese artists. And when I mentioned Asuna, he said we would be playing a show together in a couple nights, and I just couldn't believe it. And then later in the week, we'd also be staying the night at his family's farmhouse, and the rest is history. Last year, he visited the USA as part of a worldwide tour performing his immersive sound installation, 100 Keyboards. With translation help from Mami Takahashi, we were able to record an interview at the Portland Institute for Contemporary Arts, which you're about to hear. We're talking about his early works up to his latest projects, the logistics of traveling with a hundred keyboards internationally, his connection to the experimental music scene in the Pacific Northwest, and the blurry line between noise and ambient music. As soon as voice is preserved when he's speaking English, and then Miles Rosati will be standing in for him with English overdubs, while the upcoming video edition of this episode will feature subtitles. Low Profile is supported by you via flexible monthly donations and also receives in-kind support from Olympia businesses including Old School Pizzeria, San Francisco Street Bakery, Schwartz's Deli, Rainy Day Records, and Schurler Easy Premium Shitty American Lager from Three Magnets Brewing Company, who's also sponsoring the second annual Schurler Sundays concert series in Olympia from June 18th to August 13th this year, 2023. All right, here we go. This is me and Asuna. On location from the Portland Institute for Contemporary Art, I'm Mark Lee Morrison, and this is Low Profile. Today, I am joined all the way from Japan by Asuna. Nice to meet you. And uh, we have translating here with us, Mimi Takahashi. Hi, nice to meet you guys. I know that this is your second time in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah. Um, How's your tour going so far? So this time around, I've been to four spots. Cincinnati, Austin, San Francisco, and tonight here in Portland. Now that I'm here, I feel like it's going pretty well. My performances are working, and a lot of people are coming to the shows. 
Good. And uh, I imagine you found some fun record stores on your trip. I didn't have a chance to go to any in Cincinnati, but I went to a couple in Austin, Texas. And then San Francisco is a great spot for record shops, but unfortunately, I didn't have time to go while I was there. But I went to Mississippi Records here in Portland. Mississippi Records, one of my favorite shops. Yeah. Um, and right now we have behind us 100 keyboards. Yeah. <laughs> which is a show you've been doing now for how many years? 12, so I started 100 Keyboards about 12 years ago, but I first took it overseas outside of Japan about five years ago. And so this is a concept uh, is that all of the keyboards have the same note playing, but yeah. the batteries and the different nuances of all the keyboards are variable. Yeah, 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 exactly. And the room will change how that sounds as well. And so it's very much, you have to be here to hear the piece. Mm. It's, it's an experience. this idea come from? When, how, how did you land on this concept? In my teens, I didn't have much money, so I would find cheap musical instruments at the thrift shops. That's how I started collecting toy keyboards. Then later, I started noticing that the exact same keyboard as another would sound slightly different depending on how much battery power was left. Around that same time, I was in college learning to make music on computers, and that sort of led to the idea for this particular project. Oh, good. Yeah. Did you bring all of these from Japan, or did you buy some here? Every. <laughs> I brought everything here from Japan. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Too much. Yeah. <laughs> I almost brought you one, but I thought, ah, he's got enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, well, I wanted to talk about your earlier days in music. I guess you were interested in music coming from this area, from like Portland, Seattle, Olympia, mm -hmm. Northwest. There's a lot of noise music. You've talked about road cone records mm, yeah. and artists like Bug Skull and... Uh, <laughs> yeah. A lot of just, you know, very fun, quirky music that even Americans don't know that much about. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering, how did you come across this scene? And uh, how, how did you find out about this in Japan? And did you have friends that were also interested in this music? So when I was in my teens, there were several pretty experimental record shops in Japan. You know, pretty unique stuff, and that's where I found a lot of very obscure records. 
学校に行ってた時にそのアメリカからあのアメリカに行ってた時にアメリカから,のからアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ってた時にアメリカから行ノイズミュージックというか日本ですごくノイズ。And in Japan, Keiji Haino, Masona, and Marisbo were sort of underground popular. Underground popular. Yeah. <laughs> we're not the over.、Yeah. Uh, were you a fan of the boredoms? Yeah,、well? sure, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah. 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 I really like、uh, boredoms.、Yeah. And、uh, they have a lot of family tree. Yeah. They have、sure. a lot of different projects. Side projects. Yeah, side projects. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah. I think they were probably the most famous Japanese band doing kind of noisy stuff、uh, in、mm. the States. Yeah, yeah,、anyway. yeah, yeah, yeah. Bought them. Somehow so, they were on MTV once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They touring with、uh, Nirvana. Yeah. And the Sonic Youth, too.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Wild. Yeah, early 90s. Yeah. Yeah. So. Your, your initial music that you were making was more along those lines, more abrasive. Your music took an arc where it kind of calmed down and you got more interested in、uh, more ambient sounds, it seemed like. With、um, our friends Alejandra and Aaron. Yeah. Who live here in Portland now? Yeah, yeah. They put out your first、uh, Asuna solo records that yeah, I know、yes. of. Yeah, yeah. Exactly.、Um, the album Organ Leaf. Yeah, sure. I heard、yeah. that when it first came out, and it was just one of the most beautiful things I'd、Thanks. ever heard、uh, back when it was new. So much chaos, and then you、mm. bring it down into such a very simple, lush environment.、Mm. To, um, that's not a question,、uh, <laughs> just an observation. Ah, okay, thanks, thank you. <laughs> yeah, sure. Ah, so no, Wakai t o k i n i w a k a i t o k i n i so no, you don't know, noise to car, b o r d e m s to come. So, when I was young, of course, I was listening to noise, but at the same time, I was also listening to ambient music too, because ambient music was considered very experimental at the time. So, you know, I was paying attention to both genres. Two sides of the same coin. Ah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yin yeah, Yang. Yeah, <laughs> yeah.、Sure. you know, yeah. Yeah. Thank、you
wasn't the first time you came to Portland uh, 12 years ago. Yes. And uh, yeah, so long time ago. Did it live up to your mental image of what you thought you were going to find here? So I had been dreaming about, like, you know, I'm a big fan of the Portland music scene since I was a teen. So the first time when I came here 12 years ago, I was able to play with these, you know, my idols, like these people who I admire. And it was amazing. I actually just happened to meet some of those artists I admire on the street a few times. It was an amazing experience for me. That sounds very dreamy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and at that time you were doing a live performance called 100 Toys. Mm. Um, I missed that. Even I, I didn't know that you were coming. If I did, I would have come down to visit because um, I've been a fan since the early 2000s. Mm. Um, but what you were doing at that point was, again, kind of back to the more abrasive side, yeah. um, but similar concept, a bunch of yeah, electronic yeah. toy instruments. And um, you were doing some fun vocals some, <laughs> some shrieking and screaming um, I'd actually like to play a little video clip of that right now It seemed like a lot of fun. Ah, oh, thanks. You get to play with a hundred toys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All the kids are jealous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh, every time I, my viewpoint is a sound phenomena with kids' toy. Yeah, sure. I mean, the first time a child plays with some musical things, there's a special joy there that I'm trying to channel. I'm also into the scientific, technical aspects of sound waves and stuff like that. So in my work, I'm trying to combine or juxtapose these things together just to see how it goes. That's what I'm really interested in. You were telling me the story or explaining to me the concept behind your record, Each Organ, oh. which is yeah, yeah, another yeah. beautiful wow. piece that you can Thanks. just... You know, you just get lost in there. Uh, um, you told me that you use contact microphones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In what way? Uh, With each organ, what I really thought about was the origin of the word organ. So, of course, you have organs, you know, like humans' organs or some system of making energy, like a locomotive. And then the Greek word ergon translates as energy. That's what my concept behind each organ came from. I started thinking about the actual instrument, the organ. Like, what if I take off all the outer parts and just leave in the motor of the organ and put contact mics on this thing, that thing, and the motor? What I take away from that record, um, every time I hear it, I hear it differently. Yeah. I hear new things. Yeah. Especially if I listen to it, you know, close my eyes, and um, it's just always something new that I didn't experience the last yeah. time. Good. And um, I think that your music and your art, your performances continue to have this effect. Yeah. And it's really great to see you doing this where literally it is going to be different every time, even though it's a yeah. presentation of the same piece. Yeah. How much longer do you plan to continue with 100 keyboards, and uh, what do you think is next? 
So, of course, if anybody invited me to do this 100 keyboards project, I'm happy to continue playing it. But also at the same time, I've already moved on to my next work. When I head back to Japan from Portland, I've got a gig planned to debut the new project. Yeah, wow. it's、uh, every sound from candies, actually. Everything is played with candy? Yeah. Everything from candy. Yeah. Everything for, so. <laughs> When, the first time I saw you, you handed out the candy whistles、ah, yeah, to the yeah, audience, yeah. and everybody's blowing、yeah. the candy whistles.、But、more different, actually. Okay. Yeah. But, but anyway, <laughs> yeah. nothing yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. I know you've got to get ready for your performance tonight, so we should probably wrap it up.、Mm-hmm. Um, I do have、uh, a personal question, if that's、yeah. okay.、Um, do you eat hamburgers? Yeah.、Um, if I were to give you a hamburger, <laughs> what, what's it look like? How do you like your hamburger? What's on top? What's in there? Oh, and it has to be a haiku. Ah.、Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is kind of a hamburger, but I actually prefer chicken. So, like, maybe a chicken burger, and it would have a lot of vegetables on it. Sounds delicious. Okay, yeah. I'll see if I can find one. <laughs> okay, thanks. It's a dream come true having、yeah. you on the show. I know、um, you've mentioned before、uh, artists that you like, uh, like, uh, but. Lauren Mazakain Connors and Richard Young's. <laughs> Great. Great. And I'm like, okay, did, okay, I've got the right guy because they're on the show too. Oh, so it's a.、Uh, Great. I'm getting the whole collection. <laughs> and you are、Great. just very dear to me, very、oh. dear to my heart. And, me too.、Um, I really like the Screw Meadow stuff. Oh, <laughs> that reminds、yeah. me. Here. I brought you. Yo. Some, I brought you some stuff. <laughs> Wow, thank you very much. Yeah, and yeah, thank、great. you for you, you've given me some music today too. I can't wait to hear. Yeah, yeah, thanks. And、uh, thank you so much for、yeah. doing this. I'm very excited yeah, to、thanks. see 100 keyboards and lots of love. Yeah. Thank you very much. I'm your host and producer, Mark Lee Morrison, and this has been the 76th episode of Low Profile, this time featuring the Japanese sound artist Asuna. I'm so glad you listened today. I hope you are too. Special thanks to Andrew Ebright for recording this episode, to the Portland Institute for the Contemporary Arts for letting us tape this in their gallery, to Miles Rizzotti for the English overdubs, and to Mami Takahashi for translating the interview live. Now, I had never worked with a live translator before, and I'd like to pass on a lesson I learned, which is that <laughs> I should have known this, but it takes three times as long to exchange words when there's a go between. <laughs> the look on my face when I saw that our edited hour long interview with no dialogue cuts came out to just over 20 minutes in the end. So, yeah, pretty much exactly a third of the time <laughs> the interview actually took. It was a lot of fun, and if you ever get a chance to see Asuna perform, you'd be crazy not to. It's mind blowingly cool. If you enjoy this show, please consider supporting it with flexible monthly donations on patreon.com slash low profile. And shout out to Old School Pizzeria, Rainy Day Records, San Francisco Street Bakery, Schwartz's Deli, and Shirler Easy Premium Shitty American Lager for their continued in kind support. We are bringing back Schurler Sundays for the second year in a row this summer, starting on June 18th, 
With Elf Power, Your Heartbreaks, and the Kinetic Paranormal Society, you can follow at Low Pro Podcast on Instagram for updates on that. It's free Sunday afternoon shows that are also episode tapings. It's a great time. Next time, I'll be back with an in-studio season finale at Chaos with Jenna Riffis. You can catch that on June 9th if all goes as planned. Right now, I'm going to play you out on this new track Asuna sent me. You won't find it anywhere else, and it's called Sewing Grid Steps. Catch you later.
Oh, my God.